And it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression of Start Studio Gallery in the early of 2019, I hope, I think, I'm pretty sure. And I have a half a plan. Well, I have a lot of a plan, but I don't know how it's going to turn out. And I have in front of us a 12 by 16 canvas. I found my iPod case, which was missing, which is really a nice thing because it's just small enough to hold the right amount of colors that I want. I also have three of my sand shovels resting in a dish so that I can add individual color sets to them and then hopefully with any luck at all put them aside and use them and what I've been chicken about is doing more landscapes and what I want to play with is doing more landscapes so guess what we're gonna do we're gonna do more landscapes and um, I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should take that canvas away although I'm not sure why because it's gonna have paint on it soon enough I just have to figure out where to start and so maybe using up some color that I have and a couple of these, maybe all three. That was an Arteza that I added, I believe, some iridescent pearl fine from Golden to. And I am going to go ahead and try and keep the tops off of my bottles. Let's just put something over here I can put them in. And make some interesting color mixes. So I think the first one started out blues and turquoise and greens. So I'm going to leave that aside and keep trying to take, keep those tops off. And I'm going to do some black and white. A little black down here. I've never really tried to configure one, two, three, four at a time before. But um, this is a first time for everything. So this is that. That's kind of thick, but it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Oh, I don't want any... Oh, please come out. Come on. I don't want, I don't know what's plugging that. Oh well, <laughs> there was some anticipation there. I guess I'll figure it out when I use, get it, find my tack. So in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and find something similar. Now I've just put some neon in there, so I'm always telling you guys that I like to use white with the neons. Although I do find lately that the white swallows the pink like whole and doesn't give anything back. So let's put some of my favorite folk art, come dick blick uh, fluorescent, come plaid neon purple in the center one. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm just making up colors because I figured, you know, the first step to anything is starting. So that's my plan. I have no plan. I'm starting. I'm not sure they'll even be the right configurations, but I am sure that I've been working with abstract art long enough so that if I'm stuck with something, I'm still not stuck with anything. Okay, so keep trying to leave the tops off. That's mostly for my sake so that I don't have to keep wasting time. Okay, that was an interesting color combination. I'm not sure I actually planned on that. Uh, I might be talking more than I'm thinking. Go figure. That's not abnormal, is it? No, it's really not. So it's not going to be, if it's going to be a landscape, it's not going to be any kind of conventional landscape by any stretch of the imagination. And this iPod case is going to be to scoop out of. I would like these colors to be different. And sometimes it's hard for me to make them very different. That is the Prussian blue that's by Grumbacher. It's nice and, nice and thick right now. I still seem to be going for the blues. I just can't quite get away from that. I like the pink in there to a certain degree because it acts like white for me. And I'm going to put something right on top of it. And I just mixed up that red and that red is right here. Okay, so now it's just up to me to make the colors more interesting. And keep the tops off. and add some more white maybe. I know, this takes forever. I don't know how you guys put up with it. I'm sure you fast forward. It's too bad too, because you probably missed some good stuff. Uh, all right, I'm, tw I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking and I want some more purple. I love this color. And that looks a lot like that, but not quite. So we're ve getting very close. 
and I'm not super confident that I'm going to get what I want, but I'm still way into trying. I love that purple color down there, and I have, I think, some metallic, some shimmer added into that. So yes, I definitely have more paint than I need. I'm going to put that aside. What am I going to, I want more, I want more something over there. And I didn't use any of, oh, I did right there. I used a little bit. So I'm going to put that in there and then down in there. I hope I can still think of it as different. I did mix some gold. I have been letting it sink to one edge of the cup. I'm not sure it's the right thing in here. And uh, since it's a new batch, it's probably going to be a new experience. So those are sitting up, and I'm not going to dump those over. Please, universe, listen to me now. I don't like spilling my paint. I did spill my paint the other day. Not sure about that iPod case. There might have to be something else in there. I think it needs some red. Just a little bit of red and maybe a little more orange. Yep, the red-orange. That's good. And a little bit of everything. <laughs> Why not? I keep putting those tops back on. All right, so here comes my 12 by 16 canvas. And because I want a sky area, I saw that come off that tip. I must have had a tip that didn't belong in the white bottle. And I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula. I don't want a thick layer. I just want enough paint to help move the other paint that I'm about to add to it. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should just make the bottom black for the same reason. And I have my glasses on so I can tell the difference between white canvas and white paint. And a nice thin layer and I haven't done anything to my edges which I may or may not be happy about later because if they're not covered then you can frame it. If they are covered then you get to keep your cohesive work of art. Now I've got some, I've got a wet or damp cotton cloth that's saturated with some water Someday I'm just going to do those, do those marks and pull them across. I did some of that with a really large canvas with a 3x3 three three foot. And I took pictures of it as I went. And now I can't find them. But um, it was pretty cool. And I will look for them again. Which reminds me, I will be doing more. I will be attempting slideshows. My computer just bought the farm and I had to replace it. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, all my 41,000 plus subscribers. And uh, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have a new computer. That is for sure. It's not a computer. It's a laptop. I don't use computers per se, just just laptops. All right, so now I have some paint on there. I'm not trying for a straight horizon line. I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm going to clean off my spatula. You can never tell what I might do with it either. I'm going to take my, ah, uh, I think I'm going to take my first shovel full and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I just want to add, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give myself permission to look over there at those shovelfuls and I'm going to add some Prussian blue to my first one and I know there's some decor pouring medium in there so I am going to just have some fun and let that all fall down right over the side right there and the same on the other end. It's not identical, but unless you tell somebody, you're not going to know. All right, so that's kind of fun, and I don't mind it a bit. And I have potential for dribbling, which I'm going to put my shovel down someplace I can let the paint pool in one corner so I can dribble it out. I may want that in a minute. And in the meantime, I'm going to grab my scoop see how this works. I've got more, of course. I 
and I've got enough to let it lead down over the edge. It's going to be a very abstract landscape. Very, very, <laughs> very, 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 very. But uh, it's what I wanted to do anyway. So I'm going to grab some more of this and I'm going to dribble it right over the edge. And I may tip this at some point in time, but I use GAC 800. One of the reasons, the main reason, is because it promises that I won't crack my paint. Now I've kind of wanted for a while to take my straw, medical tubing, and blow into some ribbons and see what happens. And that's all right. I may want to stop this really soon because I like it. Now I can take my, I'm, I may not have chosen my colors very wisely as far as making something that looked realistic, but I really wasn't trying for that anyway. I'm going to take just some colors out of the front of that, out of that, I was going to call it a spatula, out of that scoop. And then some more. Trying to balance the scoop in one hand and um, draw with the scoop in the other is an interesting proposition. But so far, I'm doing okay with it. I like, I got a lot of cells happening in the area that I blew my air through my hose, through the, my straw, my medical tubing, whatever you want to call it. Now I can actually just go right in here and take one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and see what I can do with integrating just a black or a fresh and blue line. It's a because I can moment. I haven't done anything much with my sky but I don't know what I want to do with my sky. I've got some colors I don't mind over there. I kind of like what's going on. Didn't want a whole lot of paint there. I'm going to do the same thing again. Because there's all kinds of colors in there. And I am going to use it on the edges, and I can always bl add black, but I don't need to right now. So let's play with the sky. I know, but I need to move that someplace safe. I used to make watercolors with all kinds of stripes intersecting, and that's kind of what my idea is right now. I just want to... Um, move that way. Let all my paint go back down. What do I want to do with that? I want to take my straw again. This is a serious experiment, <laughs> for sure. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm perfectly willing to try all kinds of silly things. And I'm working upside down, so I'm imagining that, that was, that's working and I may or may not be correct. I got a lot of extra paint there and I don't want to tip anything. And my only other choice is to um, scrape it off and that may happen in a minute except for I really like the rest of what's happening over around there. I'm going to let that come down over the edge. Grab some more paint, some more of this paint.
I'm not afraid of what's happening when it's a little clumsy along the way because I know as I add things I will most likely satisfy my needs. So I'm basically just trying to trust my process. And I'm not asking that any of this pretend landscape-ish stuff makes any sense to anyone but me. I like that blue and I know where that blue is and I'm going to add some more. Not sure what it signifies, but I don't have to be either. I just need to have some fun. Boy, I really should attempt to tip some of this. Let me see what you can see, because you're looking at it from the angle where I'm going to decide that it's... Ah, I don't know. <laughs> Par for the course. Let's see. Time to pull out the spatula. Throw some white paint in there. If I have something clumsy looking. I like my little cells. Those are some funky clouds. Now I did promise that I might want to... Um, I keep these cottage cheese lids for a lot of reasons. This is just one of them. I want that to go over there. And it will spread out and make a nice skin. I'm not leaving myself any time left, but I know I have three minutes. So I will tell you that I'm not sure what's going to happen with that exactly. Except for I'm going to put some pink right there and just smooth it in. And not worry about it too much. And uh, pretty sure I'm pretty good, pretty close to just calling this uh, experiment number one. Uh, satisfactory and touching up my edges and the only thing I didn't do was probably dip my little spatula in to my shovel and make myself another little area which I want okay it's different it's not perfect yet for sure I haven't torched we're probably gonna release a few bubbles Got a dot there I don't really want there. It's my first experiment with escape, like doing like I've been thinking about doing for a while. I definitely want to fix that little spot there. And to do that, I'm going to use my tubing. So I guess I'm going to play with this a little bit more, and I'm going to tell you for the moment that this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, playing in the new year, and uh, experimenting with new ways of doing things, hopefully. And you should check out my Amazon link if you'd like to be of assistance, and you decide to donate through PayPal or Patreon, you'll be entered into a contest where you might have an opportunity, if your name is drawn, to win one of three paintings. And this is the last... This is the last month they'll be 16 by 20s. They're going to be smaller because they're easier to ship, quite honestly. And uh, make sure you include an email address that's current, if you can, on your, on your PayPal account. And that will give me three days to contact you. And I would like to know if I can use your name if you do win. I have Teespring clothing under the, under the, the video and in the description. Excuse me, above the description. I'm tongue-tied, pardon me. And uh, I have a paint pouring description in the description under the video. And there's uh, Instagram and Pinterest boards and three Facebook albums. When, when I'm finally done with volume three, I'll, uh, I'll be happy to say that I'll be caught up for a minute, but uh, that's probably not, probably not yet. I hope so. Having to break in a new computer is usually a little bit of a chore, so I'm getting my editing back online. And uh, it's been lovely to have you guys. Thank you for the contribution so far. Thank you for the nice comments. And I expect to be back in a minute and play with this for another minute or so and see what I like and what I don't like. And I will talk to you then. 
Priscilla out for now. See you in a minute. Bye for now.